20 creepiest Google Earth images. Number 20, Goat Woman. Someone please tell us this is just a Google Earth error and there's really not a goat woman walking around the temple of Chichen Itza in Mexico. Maybe with the help from her ancestors with double jointed knees, they were able to construct this ancient wonder. Number 19, Horse Head Guy. We have to wonder whether this guy was on his way to a Halloween party or just decided to throw on a horse mask that day. This creepy guy was just standing on the sidewalk waiting to creep out anyone who might have crossed his path. Or maybe he just didn't want his face on Google Earth and decided to put a mask on when he saw the car driving by. Number 18, Miyoshi Japan. If you search Miyoshi Japan, you might not notice anything too different at first. Once you look a little closer, you'll see some people sitting on benches or outside their house. After further examination, you'll notice the faces aren't blurred as usual. Well, it turns out it's a village of dead dolls, and all the people sitting down are dolls. Eerie but true. Number 17. Where did the carnival go? In Kipoleti, Argentina, on Rio Negro, you'll find a creepy abandoned circus making you wonder, where did all the clowns go? Have they been released and are now roaming the streets? The place looks like it would have been fun at some point in time, but now it looks just downright evil. Buy a ticket if you dare. Number 16, Green Alien Cloud. In Somerville, Massachusetts on Broadway Street, you'll notice a gloomy apocalyptic death cloud striking complete panic into the poor residents of this town. This cloud looks highly capable of bringing on destruction with ease. Or could it just be a leaf stuck on the camera and isn't coming off? Either way, it still seems creepy. Number 15, Ghost Church. It's just your average sunny day here in Baltimore, Maryland. The church here, located on North Fremont Street, appears as though it may be getting a little bit run down and that it might be demolished at any minute. Zoom in a little closer and poof, it's gone. How did that happen? Did the Lord make it vanish suddenly? Now it's a vacant lot that'll be put to better use someday. Number 14, Gypsy Kids. Are you scared of kids and gypsies? You should really avoid coming to this place in Slovakia then. This creepy rundown Soviet style housing and the unsupervised kids running around the streets of Kolshika. Google better hope those aren't black eyed children or they would have a serious problem on their hands. The adults who are caught on camera seem to have a serious issue with some fancy car driving down their street. And it looks like one of them didn't get out of the way in time. Number 13, Dumped Bodies. The Google car really needs to be careful when driving down some rough neighborhoods, especially this one in Chile. If he doesn't watch out, it could be the driver that ends up in the dumpster. Somewhere in Chile lies a dumpster full of creepy mannequins. Or maybe they're really dead bodies, cleverly disguised as mannequins? What do you believe? Number 12, Murder Victim. With all the exploring that's needed on Google Earth, is it possible they could capture a live murder on camera? Possibly, yes. But this time, it seems to be a prank. When people got word of the Google streetcar coming through their neighborhood, they're eager to try to get their own 15 minutes of fame. These pranksters faked a murder in Edinburgh, Scotland. Hopefully, Scott and Yard doesn't investigate this one too closely because it's a joke, apparently. Number 11, Yoga by the Beach. Nothing is more relaxing and enlightening than doing some healthy yoga poses by the beach. This woman in Wiltstable, England, is trying to connect her body and mind on the beautiful coastline and it certainly isn't something you see every day on Google Maps. Number 10, Scarecrow Army. This one here is frightening for anyone who decides to do a little exploring on Google Maps in Finland. What appears to look like a bunch of random people standing in the middle of an empty field is actually a group of creepy scarecrows who look like they're about to come to life at any moment. For what reason could the Finnish possibly need this many scarecrows? Maybe they're used to scare off zombies? Who knows? Number 9, Biohazard Suits. These two guys here definitely know something about the zombie apocalypse that we don't. Dressed up in those creepy biohazard jumpsuits, these guys in Sweden must have really spooked out the Google streetcar as he drove by this golf course. This guy with the golf club looks like he's trying to protect himself from becoming a zombie. Number 8, watch out! This large bird is heading straight for the driver, and he possibly has plans for snatching him for a quick meal. Located on the Isla de la Seymour Norte of the Galapagos Islands, the camera was able to snap this photo of some of the diverse wildlife on these remarkable islands. Number 7, the Boneyard. The Davis Montan Air Force Base, located in Tucson, Arizona, is also known as the Boneyard and collects the remains of thousands of airplanes. It also seems like a cemetery for almost every airplane and helicopter ever used since World War II and is a very interesting place to explore on Google Maps. 
who knows what our government will decide to do with all these planes. Number 6. The Biggest Word Ever When you have enough money to dig your own name out of the ground and have it be visible from space, you know you finally made it big. Haman bin Hamadan Al Nayyan is in fact a billionaire and part of Abu Dhabi's ruling family. He had his name carved into a sandy surface on the Futaishi Island, which he owns, located in the Persian Gulf. Not only is this a tad egocentric, but also a tad creepy. Number 5. Pigeon People Have pigeons finally been genetically engineered to look more like humans? Throw some bird seed and run! You better hope they'll settle for breadcrumbs and not human brains. If you're strolling down the streets in Mushoshino, Japan, near Tokyo, you may come across the horrific pigeon people who may peck out one of your eyeballs. So watch out. The Google streetcar driver didn't expect this job to be so traumatizing. Number 4. Zombie Balcony Look for this zombie in Nancy France on the balcony if you dare. This image doesn't appear like a prank, just a zombie peering out into the street, hungry for brains. You better hope she doesn't know how to ride that bicycle. Fast moving flesh eaters are the last thing we need. Number 3. Zombie Child In case you weren't a believer that the zombie apocalypse isn't here or not coming soon, take a look on Google Maps for more zombie children like in this photo. This is the last thing the streetcar driver wants to see. No one had mentioned anything about zombies in the job interview, and a brainless driver wouldn't be too useful for the company. Number 2. National Nevada Security Site Ever wonder what a nuclear wasteland looks like? Or how the land might look like after it's been bombarded by a thousand atomic blasts? Well, check the Nevada security site and take a look at some of the strange things going on here. It's somewhat similar to the surface of the moon. The site was created in 1951 and is still in use. Some towns were built in order to be absolutely obliterated. Located northeast of the Proving Grounds is the infamous Area 51. You may not see any aliens on Google Earth on Groom Lake, but you can imagine what goes on below the ground. Number 1. Creepy Kazakhstan Pentagram In northern Kazakhstan, near the Russian border, you'll find this mysterious pentagram in an isolated region by a lake. This five-pointed star often represents the spirit and then the elements of earth, air, fire, and water. But if it's upside down, like we see in this photo, it means something much more sinister. It's often used by pagans and Wiccans, and represents dark spirits like the one with the <laughs> devil. The two upright points tend to imply to Satan's horns. Was this site used as a place of devil worship? Who knows?